So let's have a look at another semiconductor device. It is called as field effect transistor or in short form it is called as FET. So the FET stands for field effect transistor. So unlike the bipolar junction transistor where the output current that is a collector current is controlled by an input current which is a base current in FET the output current which is called as IDS we will define as drain to source current so this current will be controlled by an input voltage applied at the gate so that is why we called as field effect transistor so input applied field electric field controls the current in this device so let's have a look at the structure of this semiconductor device so you have p type of semiconductor material as shown and in the it is called a body of a device or fet and in the p type body of the effet you have two n plus dope regions so there are plenty of electrons in the n plus regions and there are plenty of holes in the p type of material so p type material contains holes as a majority carriers and electrons as a minority carriers whereas n type of material contains electrons as a majority carriers and holes as minority carriers so there are total four pins for the device one is called as body which is nothing but a p type substrate then you have a gate then you have a source and you have a drain so we see that on the body of a p type semiconductor you deposit a material which is an insulator and it is called as gate oxide usually this material is sio2 or silicon it is called a silicon dioxide or silicon nitride can also be used then on top of the insulator you have a metal or polysilicon so that is why it is also called as metal oxide semiconductor or mos so we'll see in specific case what is the mos fit so in short you can call it as a mos or you can call it as a mos fit so metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor mosfet okay now there are two types of fit one is the mosfet and one is called as junction field effect transistor so we'll see what is junction field effect transistor which is also called as jfet now this is an unipolar device as opposed to bipolar junction transistor or which is a bipolar device in bjt remember the current conduction takes place due to both types of charge carriers that is electrons and holes but in fact the current conduction takes place due to only one type of charge carriers at a time it could be electrons or it could be holes so here what happens when you apply a voltage at the gate let's say you apply a positive voltage at the gate so positive charge carriers are deposited on top of this metal and due to this the negative charge carriers or minority charge carriers which are present in the body they start going up near the surface near this surface which is the interface between oxide and the semiconductor so they try to accumulate right over here so when you have a sufficient positive voltage that overcomes the cut in voltage or turn on voltage of this transistor so there are enough number of negative charge carriers that are deposited and that are collected at the interface between oxide and the semiconductor so once you have sufficient number of negative charge carriers at the oxide and the semiconductor interface you can apply an electric field 
across the drain and the source region so you see i have applied positive and negative to the source and the drain so this positive will push the electrons and the negative will pull the electrons and therefore the circuit will get completed and we say that the current from drain to source flows in the circuit so when you take off this negative positive voltage from the gate the current conduction is stopped again you apply the positive voltage on the gate and the current starts flowing provided you have applied voltage across drain and the source so in this way you see that the voltage applied at the gate controls the current into the channel this region is called as channel of the fit so that is all about the field effect transistors if you like this video please share with others